Yo, what's up guys? It's x -Rays. Welcome to a new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. Now, today we're going to be talking about the new patch that came out today. Not so much going into detail about that, but some of the benefits and one of the cool things that I saw about this patch. Really quickly, before I jump into the video, guys, if you guys do enjoy it, as always, make sure to support the video by leaving a like and a favorite. I'm on my way to 100k subs, guys, and all the support you guys can give me from comments to likes really does help my channel out. And of course, if you guys are new and you enjoy Advanced Warfare content, then make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any content in the future. But anyways, with that said, let's jump straight into the video. Now, the reason you guys are seeing some ASM1 gameplay is because SMG's got a buff today and they are a lot better to use. I was playing today using the BAL27 just because I was using a separate account that I started up on my PS4 and I was leveling it up and I didn't have any SMGs unlocked just quite yet. So I was using the BAL27 and I noticed that a lot of people are actually using the SMGs now. That is because of this buff and also the nerf to the BAL27 and also some of the assault rifles in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So with that said, while I was playing, I was using the BAL27. I noticed a lot of people were using it and I also noticed that I was getting outgunned by the ASM1 and a lot of the other SMGs a lot up close which at first kind of made me mad I was like oh crap because nobody likes getting taken out but then I was like it's an SMG it outgunned me up close which is the way that it should be so it was kind of weird at the same time I was happy that I saw that an SMG actually beat me out once I unlocked the ASM1 I actually ended up using it going on and tearing up the public lobbies and actually another really cool thing that is in domination right now is that they actually increased the score per kill so before it was 50 points for every kill that you used to get now it's 100 points for every kill which makes the game mode a lot faster and it makes honestly the score streaks feel a little bit more rewarding because you're getting them a lot more often. Now, obviously the points were at 100 in Team Deathmatch, but in Team Deathmatch, there's also a lot of people, the majority of them, who are just camping out trying to get their score streaks. And, you know, it was basically the only place you could go to because it was 50 points in Domination, which is the best mode for, you know, just kind of going on kill streaks and stuff like that. And, you know, it was harder to get kill streaks. And now that they buffed up the points up in Domination, I think there's going to be a lot more people playing Domination. I think it's going to be a lot more fun getting a lot more of those score streaks. And I think overall it's going to be a lot more fast and action paced because everyone knows you're getting 100 points for every kill. But anyways, guys, overall, I thought it was an amazing patch. I think I'm really, really happy with this. One thing I did experience, guys, still is a lot of lag. I was playing this mode, and I think you guys can see it right here, even during this gameplay. There were times when it was, like, extremely laggy, which I don't know why that still has not been addressed. I wish it would just take off skill-based matchmaking, get rid of that, focus on connection-based, maybe something's whacked up. I want them to look into it because there were points where I was playing on Wi-Fi and the game was telling me that I was on a five bar, which is a complete lie. You know, I think essentially they're just telling us that we're on a five bar. So we feel like, you know, a placebo effect. I'm on a five bar, but there was a lot of lagging and it kept telling me I was on a five bar. I switched over to the ethernet cord. It was a lot better, but still I was experiencing lag, which is weird as hell. And again, still everyone was saying they had five bars, which was really, really annoying. I don't know why that patch i think the only thing that other patch did was basically make it so that the bar always told you you were at a five bar i mean i don't really know it feels like it's just doing that uh, but anyways guys yeah i wanted to get this video out there for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think of the patch so far obviously it, i think it's a lot better we got 100 points per kill in domination the smgs are a lot better the bow 27 was nerfed along with some of the other ars just you know in terms of how much damage it does at a distance so it makes it so that your SMGs are just a lot better to use and you can finally use them guys so go ahead and feel free to try out the SMGs now guys They're a lot better and hopefully you guys are excited to finally use other weapons not just the BAL 27 and the HBR and the AK-12 uh, But anyways guys, thanks again so much for watching the video Hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to slap a like and a favorite on the video And of course if you guys are new and you enjoy these kinds of videos from advanced warfare commentary So class setups weapon comparisons and a whole lot more then make sure to subscribe So you guys don't miss any episodes in the future, but anyways guys until next time like comment subscribe make sure some out peace